Game of Thrones, Episode 4, No Time to Explain. That's not, that's not the title, that's just something that I said. Episode 4! Previously on Game of Thrones. Ah, oh, you beat me to it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. Ah, oh, quite a predicament. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Oh. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Mira, I, I feel like I'm doing everything wrong with her. And if it isn't a late no Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. It's a long journey Heck to yeah, we will. Foot. Marie. Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Beska! Ah, ah. Oh, Beska. Are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Don't think this is over, Roderick! The Far foresters from over. need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. All the way back in episode one. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. <sighs> the bastard. <laughs> I'm telling you, you deserved it. It was a good father, man, to watch. No, he looks pretty good for someone who fell like 40 stories down. Let me guess. You ratted out on me. Yep. What the hell? I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Pray it hell. Now they all see it. I it wasn't my fault. He attacked me and and we fought and And you threw him clear off the wall. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored. And burn till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, yeah, the Night's exactly. Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men, loyal men, not 
brother killers. No, every There's man. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Finn was only there at the very end. You had your say. Actually, I was there the whole time. Oh. God damn it, Finn. Then tell us. Garrett's telling the truth. Britt attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. What? Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. That's impossible. Finn can't stand me. Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone. Enough! Garrett killed the man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. <sighs> Thanks for trying, Finn. I knew Finn. it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rosfinger. Oh, no. We with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now, <laughs> out of the John? way, Snow. Give us a moment. And kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crusters. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. Oh, you gave me your word, Garrett. I can't let you have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Crasters. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Oh no. <sighs> Shit. Oh crap. Now Garrett's gonna die, Mara's gonna die. I feel like I'm screwing up this story, guys. <laughs> God dang it. Episode 4, Sons of Winter. They don't screw anything else up. Back to uh, space. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Ah, sir, thank you. Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my time. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Whoa. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen yes. a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. He's smaller than the other one. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Sean. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. Come on, come on. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? <laughs> you claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. Will that be a problem? I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you hurt him... Whoa, whoa, whoa! He attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. He wouldn't harm anyone. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Oh, Mesca. Why did you Green come? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude. What do you want from me? Asher Forrester. I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an, an army. army. If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. Oh, My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation, once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me. Croft? You may leave. Oh, that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asher? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. I we need a way, goddamn it, Beska. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Anything for you. Within reason, of course. Very well. 
You two will join more. Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. What? If Why? I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Oh, God. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Beck is going to kill me. I told you I didn't want to go back to Marine. What the hell was that? I'm sorry about I'm this. I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Best case. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. <laughs> oh, God. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! Oh, boy. Roderick Forster. Yeah, I like Roderick. Curse this bloody leg. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. Practical in what way? You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you'd prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. What? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Shit. Let's try it again. There we go. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. Uh oh. <sighs> My lord. Sorry to interrupt. Elena. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Oh boy. The Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. Oh, boy. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. <laughs> Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. Oh, he no. told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrogel and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lord threatened my family. Told my father if he <sighs> refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant pig-eyed prick. I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Elena, we're in this together. 
I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. What? I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. And so have I. You'd murder a man to prevent your marriage. I know Griffith's horrible, but to go that far... You don't know what it's like, Roderick. You get to decide what you want to do and who you want to be. I'm expected to have my life decided for me. You wouldn't have to do it yourself if you didn't want to. We have a way around that. What the hell? Whoa! Nice! You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. Why do I still have my little brother? If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My I hope you're right. <laughs> Thank you, Griff. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? Oh. You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. Nope, I'm kissing her. Too much at stake. Oh no. Everything's going to shite. Let me uh can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei and Jaime. Oh, shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. You're playing a dangerous what game. Is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lord Whitehill. Okay, go on. Lord Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, done. Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Give Whitehill is surprisingly praise. secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? 
Oh, I'll figure it out, Tom. Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Ain't that the truth? Entire city is like seemingly after Mira. I threw him in there, just for my choices alone. There's left over honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Okay. Are we gonna escape, bro? Are we gonna escape? Just and said. that's not helpful at all. Uh, scraps oh, wood. Rotten. This is all bloody useless. <sighs> There's gotta be something in here. A sack of onions. onions crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. Rusty trowel. That might be useful. Maybe. A hole in the wall. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. You can squeeze through. Use the trowel, kind of dig out. No one out there. Well, don't die. I don't know what I expected. Oh, this one looks loose. Jared! Cotter. Cotter. What are you doing here? I heard him talking. He had to be executed in the morning. What about oh, I know that. He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? You had my back with Finn. He would have killed me over that knife. I figured it was about time I returned the favor. So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. I owe you for this. If we make it out alive, I... Yeah, well, definitely. Now that you mention it, what? What? I want to go with you, Garrett. To the North Grove. Why? You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. Just keep watch. Make sure no one comes by. I'll see what I can do from in here. Right. How's it looking out there, Cotter? Well, fine, I suppose. We have to hurry. Someone will come along soon. Come on. What are you doing? Getting out of here. Don't mind, don't mind me, Carter. Just keep watch. Chip. Chip. I can see it. it. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? Sweet, sweet. 
I don't know what I thought. With our luck, someone did it. Through, I think. Jesus, Cotter, you scared me. Oh shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, you two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. Oh, Finn. Am I glad to see you? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. We'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with potato fucker over here? <laughs> I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. I don't know. We'll need, we'll need all, all the men we can get. Yeah, Look, definitely. You're not coming with us, Finn. No, we're bringing Having them another on. ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. Talk later. Move. Let us continue with uh, Game of Thrones episode four. Oh. <sighs> We're still gonna get executed. I feel like I'm making every bad decision here. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. Oh god. Don't remind me. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Or I worse. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. Uh oh. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? I can remember. Oh boy. And we're uh, I don't like where this is gonna go. Really Lady Forrester. What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Oh, if he killed the Maester, I Th swear this to could God. be our chance. He's right. We must hurry. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't exactly. forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Exactly. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. 
Nothing. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. Heck yeah. Got some support behind my back. I'm finally. coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. I guess I'm gonna join the matter. Come with me then. I would have chosen to go for her to come with me anyway. It's time to retake the forest of my happy. Roger with that badass walk. Obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. Oh, you watch shit. Your bloody tongue. Or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? Let the maester go, Grim. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient. Just like you are, Roderick. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a lord here, not you. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? Yeah. You know what I think? What? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. Go ahead. Come at me, Griff. My fucking pleasure. Oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick. Just give up. Not today. Accept it. You just embarrass me. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm dying, I should make a sea effect. Where it is. What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Come on, defend your lord. Help the maester. What are you doing? Back away. <laughs> now. This is my hall. You have no right to be here. Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your own Shut your mouth. family. Shut your bloody mouth, Rip. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone... <laughs> Shut up. Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. I... Oh, I was... Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? No! You need to stop. My eye! Roderick, listen to me! You fucking! My eye! Roderick! Oh, you fuck! Oh! He just hurt me! You are need you... to stop this, right? My... No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him, I'm protecting Ryan! 
When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? <laughs> if you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. I made a promise, Mother. I intend to honor it. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Bit on him. Yep. <laughs> Confine the white hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Yeah, I can't <laughs> see. I can't see anything. Oh, fuck you. Why? Man, I missed a really badass thing where I could have tricked him. Nope. But oh well. Got what he deserved. Word cannot reach high point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the ravens. All of them. Oh. Yeah, that's for us, you're going to war. I swear I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I see I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh, ah! Jesus. Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. All right, break it up, break hey, it up. Come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. Are you afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up. Are you up. looking forward Don't worry about to it. it? Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Best anyway! What the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> oh. Oh. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. Stop Never trying to hit to. me! Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? You're the only reason I'm even fucking here. You told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! It's more my family! This is, my family this is oh, the only it's way! always about your family, your problems. Whoa! Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You want to help? Come on! Is Fine. this what you want? Let her, let her anger out. Let her anger out. Me, talk to me. Thank you. Jesus. I was a slave. Here. What? In this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. Oh, I, God. 
After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. Ugh. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um, I don't think, I'm, I don't think I'm so sorry, Vesca. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. She's gonna go for a drink anyway, isn't she? No, Veshka. Green is a city no of drinking. dead children. I know you're hurting, but... Ugh. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. I should have taken that fucking drink away from her. I feel like right now she needs it. Corn ocean beef. <laughs> better than Ramsey. Or not Ramsey, uh, better than Joffrey. Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. Uh. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't mm. risk it. Please, Sarah. I don't know. For me. After all the shit I've done for you. Fine. Thank you. Just stop making that face already. <laughs> Puppy dog guys. Work you every owe time. me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. So it's strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's nice quite lovely. Why have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. Oh, you it's tell easy it, to you forget. Tell it in my story. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. 
That subject isn't fit for your delicate sure, ears anyway. Is clear. Oh, really? <gasps> My That's ears are that. not we'll delicate. Of that. course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. <Stop laughs> it. What? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I just need a drink. I'm sorry, I... I I'm, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That and is it. it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! How about... Ooh, there's so much to do, so much to do. He's dropping my man. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well... Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guards, but still. Well, surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Oh, no. That doesn't sound good. Very no expense in hunting down the uh, killer. They might track it down to Mira. Oh boy. Oh, it seems so calm out there. Flowers the same way anymore. Because huh. of everything that's happened, I cannot blame you. He's dropped on Morgan. And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm, is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> what would that be? No, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, time to go talk to him. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. Would we must like have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe <laughs> King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about, if you don't mind my asking? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to what? my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud White Hill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. Yeah, but Carmen that man would be nothing without me. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me.
interesting, interesting, interesting. Intrigue and all this. Yeah, I already talked to him. He's dropped. I'm gonna use drop on him. And a Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. The friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. Then if my friends happen to protect me from the crown, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. <laughs> I would too. Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Oh, Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. I hear your Lord Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing now. Congratulations. But, don't you? That you figured everything out. You have no <laughs> idea what you're up against. Powerful friends, Lady Mira. Tyrion isn't the only Lannister interested in what I have to offer. And if you don't stay out of my way, you'll end up in the Black Shoals with the Imp. Good day, Whoa. Lady Mira. He's a bit angry. 